Right, welcome to this lesson on direct proportion. We're going to go through basically what proportionality is and run down how to tackle questions on it. So the first thing you need to know um, is that if two quantities are directly proportional, then as one of them increases, so does the other. Um, so to take an example, um, let's say you were buying some material, some fabric, um, you'd probably be charged a certain amount per meter. So the length of fabric would be one quantity and the cost of that fabric might be another. And that's an example of two quantities which would be directly proportional. Because for example, if you buy twice as much, you double the length, you would also have to pay twice as much, so you double the cost. Um, secondly, there's a bit of notation to get used to. We can write P is proportional to Q. So that little squiggle, which looks like an infinity sign with the end chopped off, when you see that, it just basically means P is directly proportional to Q. Um, next, what does that actually mean mathematically? What can you write down and what we can use? Um, well, we say, um, well, we write down that P is equal to K times Q. Okay, and K is just a number. And for length of fabric example, it'll be different from other examples. It depends on what the situation is. But we call this number the constant of proportionality. And finding this number is the key to answering questions on direct proportion. Um, okay, so what does this look like? What does the graph look like if we were to plot uh, P against Q? Well, it always looks the same, it has the same key features, which is first of all, it's a straight line, and secondly, it goes through the origin. It doesn't have a y-intercept, it goes through naught, naught. So to take the example of just using P and Q as two variables, um, if we were to plot P um, on the vertical axis and Q on the horizontal axis, we would get a straight line like this going through the origin. Um, and the gradient of that really depends on what the value of k is. Um, okay, So it might be the cost per uh, meter of fabric. And if it's a large cost per meter, then it'll be a steep graph. But the gradient itself is actually equal to k. And it's worth having a thinking think about that from what you know about gradient of straight lines, y equals mx plus c. M here is basically replacing replaced by K. Now let's just look at how we solve questions on this. Okay, they all basically follow the same sort of pattern, what you're asked to do um, and how you do it. So I'm going to lay out the steps for you using this example. So the example is if Y varies as Z, we'll come back to that um, terminology in a minute, and Y equals 2 when Z equals 5, we want to find the following. So A, the first thing to find is the value uh, the value of Y when Z is equal to 6. And we also need to find the value of Z when Y has the value 5. So um, first of all, this notation, this terminology rather, Y varies as Z. What does that mean? It, it's basically just another way that they might say Y is proportional to Z or Y is directly proportional to Z. So that just tells us we're dealing with two quantities that are proportional to each other. So how do we solve it? Well, first of all, write down the relationship between the two variables. And that's going to be something with k in. Um, so if y varies to z, if they're directly proportional, I know, therefore, that I can write y equals k times z. So y equals kz. I don't know what k is at this point, but I know that I can write that, and k is some number. Uh, but if I want to be able to solve this question, I need to know what that number is. So step two is to substitute in the known values of y and z to find k. And this always involves solving an equation. So the known values in this question are that when y equals 2, z equals 5. So I simply substitute those at the same time, because they're a pair, I substitute those into that equation. So instead of writing y, I write 2. And instead of z, I write 5. So 2 is equal to k times 5. Um, or if I write that a bit more nicely, um, 2 is equal to 5k. So this is just an equation now, all right, an equation to find k. I've got 5k, but I want k on its own, so I'm just going to divide by 5, and I end up with, on the left, 2 fifths, and on the right, k. So that's the value of k, k equals 2 fifths. Now what am I going to do with this? Um, well, step 3 is simply to write out the equation. And the equation that links y and z is basically the relationship that you've already written down, except now I know what k is. So y is equal to k times z, but I now know that k is 2 fifths, so I replace k 
with its value. And I can write the equation as y is equal to 2 fifths times z, or just 2 fifths of z. Once I've done this, I can work out anything, really, that the question is going to ask me. Um, so I do that by just using this equation and substituting in values that I know to find values that I need to know. So let's have a look. So step four is basically to use this equation. Use this equation to answer whatever it is that the question is asking. So for part A, it's asking for the value of y when z equals 6. Okay, so let's do that. When z is equal to 6, that means my equation tells me y is equal to 2 fifths times z, which in this case is 6, so y is equal to 2 fifths times 6. Um, and then just work that out. Uh, however you choose. So I'd write the 6 as uh, 6 over 1 and multiply my two fractions together. 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5. And you could leave it like that, write it as a mixed number. I'm going to write it as a decimal. But it's the method that's important right now, not exactly how you write your answer. Part B um, wants to know what value Z has when Y is equal to 5. So again, I just replace Y in the equation with the value that it's got. When Y is 5, I get 5 is equal to 2 fifths times some value of z. So now, um, z is the thing in my equation that I need to find. And to do this, uh, I'm going to choose to multiply both sides by 5. That will get rid of the 5 from the fraction. So I get 25 equals 2z. And then simply to get z, I will divide by 2. So 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. And that is equal to z. So we've solved it. and just to recap the, five, the four steps there, first of all, write down the relationship. It's always one thing equals k times the other for direct proportion. Um, then you just need to find out what k is. That unlocks the question. So substitute in um, the values that you know, a pair of values that you know. That will tell you k. Step three, write down the equation. And once you've got the equation, you can use it to answer the question. Okay, that's it for now.